Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video you are going to see South Coast and Breen videos guys. First you're going to see the South Coast part of things. Didn't really go to plan because the conditions wasn't in our favour. We didn't think they would be because there was a storm brewing and we were expecting about 50 mile an hour winds the next day. So we thought we'd try to get down there early. We weren't going to at first but we just thought let's just go for it. At least we managed to land some fish down there. But then we headed, we headed up to Breen, Breen Sands, after the Thornback Rays. I, that was one of my main targets this year because I've never had a Thornback offshore. Even at a rocky mark down here at Newton Point. Never managed to stumble across one. So I decided to, to message Gareth Griffiths to get on a trip down to South Coast and after those Thornbacks. And here we go. Here's the video. Hope you enjoy. So there we go guys, there's a bait I just threw out, it's just a squid, just a squid, two panel, four rows, out into the coast, we've got a two, a flapper rod just over there, and then we've got the main rods for here for the undies, nice little setup. The blob on the beach, don't mind if I do. So here we go guys, we just had our first bite of the night. I think it's dropped a bit guys. Yeah, it was giving a good bite guys. By the looks of it, it might have just dropped a bit. Yeah, it's dropped a bit. At least they just stopped and feed in. Hopefully we get a few on film for you and all that. You go, fish on guys. Started screaming off. Boys are coming over now. I'm ready to land the fish. Scream out boys. Literally a couple of minutes after that other one. Just coming into the bay now guys. Started screaming off. Slow down. Slow down. Let's go, guys. No, it's not. That's a crab claw. Oof. He's eating a, he's eating a, uh, he's eating a spider crab, isn't it? Yeah. There we go, guys. First fish at South Coast. We've got a nice smooth down. Started ripping off on the squid. Mad little run. Here we go. Just having a bite. Guys, we just had a bite. It is now currently Monday morning. The weed was horrendous most of the night, but it's finally stopped about four, about an hour ago with a car. And we just managed to hopefully a fish coming up here now, guys. There we 
go, a bus. Nice. Bus. There we go. Boom. Good morning. So that was what we were in last night. A little doom. <laughs> the road zone. With a lot of weed. So as you've seen in that clip just there, that was South Coast, guys. We stayed down there from, well, it was over, it was really an overnight sesh till about half five in the morning we decided to leave with a four hour drive up to Breen then, guys. But as you can see, that was an absolute lovely bass, a surprise bass at first, because we did throw one out into the surf for something just, just to beat the blank, because the weed out deep was horrendous, as you've seen. But we did manage a hound, and that hound, I've never seen a hound scream off so fast. Genuinely, me and Gal looked at each other and said, Tope. That's how fast it was running at first, that uh, smooth hound. But without further ado, let's get on to the thornback session. So, we gotta go up there. Bit of a trek. So here we go. Almost at the bottom. We need to be at the top, though. Not looking forward to this fucking climb. Oh, here we go guys let's go here's where we at look at that yeah 150 steps to there it's about 100 beer there we go guys banging thorny bit to go out with some old ragworm squid head and a seven ounce lead on a poly rig. What size ox are they got? Six O's. Six O's. To go out out. Shit. So you go guys, another thorny on hopefully. Well another fish on at least. Gareth just going down out together. That way, go. Yeah, to your left. Straight in front of you. Straight in front of you. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice stony guy. Boom. Nice one. Boom. There we go. Nice thorny. Nice one. Bang it. It's another bait going out and another ray gonna be landed soon. Literally just after the last one. They are well on the feed now. Yeah. Conga something different guys. Pull it up, mate. Oh, 
see it spinning though. See it spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going till he brings it up, mate. Take the slack up, mate. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bang. Six or seven There's a bite. Nope, slacking up. Slacking up. Go for him. <laughs> yeah? Why don't you slow, mate? Yes. Why don't you slow, mate? Don't come both so far back. No way. Oh, spat the hook. Get then. Sometimes when they sit on the beach, they move yeah. off with it and then they go up in the top and the wing. Oh shit. Yeah. Or the tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tom, first fish of the session. Left. Yep, definitely got a re on. Nice, Tom. So we go, we got two at a time. Now nah, they total different ends. Which way is he going? Is he for something on there? If it is, it's only something small. This is either a needle or a bat. Well, on yours. Yeah, it's fighting like hell. It's giving a good little bite. Look at that, look. <laughs> Get it on the tip now. No, I missed that way, it's in a rock down there now, careful. It's gonna creep down. I do not think this is a ring. Not with how that bite was. And the rod is just nodding. Potential for another bass, guys. We had one down uh, south coast. We might be on one at, at Breen now. Oh, we... look what that is, There's an eel, was there? Yeah. Another eel. Fish on again. Looks to be a nice fish. Gonna walk down slowly with him. Just going down the ledge, car of his. Still fighting the fish. Gareth, now at the bottom. Yeah, the ledge. 
Som en decent den är. Straight in front of you. We're good. In line with you, basically, Gar. Just to your left. Just to the left, a tad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be a third, you think? Just to your left. You're in a beast of a fight. What are we thinking? Big thorny? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice ray. Nice old ray. Nice ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Nice one, bro. Nice. There we go. Absolute lovely, lovely markings on that thorn back. Biggest one of the day, too. Fighting really nice. Let me get the hooks up. Let's get the hooks out. What was that taking on? Uh, sand eel and squid. Bang in. Nice one. Lovely, lovely fish. Nice fish. Don't let it go in the grass. Nice fish. Yeah. Lovely markings on him. So here we go. Going for the release of a seven pound five ounce. Thumb back ray. Lovely. Nice size for a thony. Biggest one of the day. So far. As I said, taking on sand and squid. <laughs> Beast of a release. Like you yeah. It's only good in the night, isn't it? The bike stuff like that. I'm over another line. Which one is it, though? Go left. Go left. Go left. Ah, the yellow top one, the one. strike zone, I think. You don't clip it, mate. 
Yeah, the strike zone. Nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're coming in on the surface. Lovely. There we go. Fish has been landed. So here we go. After a climb back up, here is Gareth's ray. There it is. Oh, lovely markings on that one. Lovely little thing. Like here we go on the Akios prototype. They sent out Gara to haul with, and he's doing just that. Calling them in. It's a beautiful mark. Absolutely beautiful mark. Takes a while to walk here, for me anyway. But after this morning session, with a lot of weed in the water and two fish between two marks, this is but lovely. Lovely mark. Lovely bend in the road too. Nice. Lovely fish. There we go, a bit closer in. There's a fish. Now it's on an old macro from what I can see. Is that on Garanul Macro, is it? Pull Heron. Pull Heron. Oh, lovely. Sure, nice one. Love you, Look at that. Oh. So there we go, guys. That's the end of the video. As you've seen there, I finally managed my first ever thorn back with everyone getting at least one thorn back. I think we all ended up with about two or three in the end. But... We were chucking out squid, sand eel, bluey. They were eating it. I dropped a conga too, guys. We all dropped a conga, I think, because they'd hard to land on that rock because we didn't have a net or a gaff, whatever you normally use to land them because I don't really target big, big conga down at my point. But we didn't have the net with us, so we didn't think we'd need it. But we were just targeting... We were chucking a little blue... Uh, mackerel out just to target the conga to see if we could hook one and land one but as you can see at the water's edge they were spitting them but I'm just so thankful for Gareth Griffiths if you want a guided session guys message his Facebook I will put his Facebook profile just after this if you want a guided session or you've got that target in mind he's the man if you want to skate if you want to tope if you want a smooth hand he will try his best to get you that fish he'll put the hours in with you to get that fish so if you want a guided session pop him a message just let him know you are interested uh these do cost money for good reason because he shows you absolutely everything i'm still learning stuff off him he's an absolutely amazing guide highly recommend him 
So I'll catch you in the next video where the next video will be the Holly Ed video. I know I promised you the Mumbles video, but we got copyrighted. The, because Stu had his radio in the back and they copyrighted this, blurred that, blurred this. It was just too hectic with what I could use and couldn't use. So I'm going to head to Mumbles again one day to refilm that video and hopefully we'll get the fish. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.